Today we are going to talk about a team, and more specifically a player on Xbox CSGO, who has always taken the game way too seriously. A player that only cares about leaderboards, only cares about himself, and is honestly the biggest joke on the entire game. Just to give you guys a quick rundown before I really get going here, the player I'm talking about is Amatic. The guy who also made a professional console CSGO league called CSX, and he had a team in that league called Fragdown. I'm also going to mention two of his teammates on Fragdown a few times in this video, Arshot and Alpha. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it all. So I'm going to start with this. I don't think most people in the CSX League ever realized that they all got screwed over. Amatic just wanted to crown himself in his own league. There was a few situations that happened when the league was active, and here's just a couple examples I'm going to mention. A while back, one team that was participating in the league, Team Outlaws, was short a player for a matchup against another team. Amatic and Alpha, they deemed that to be an automatic forfeit because they were short the one player. Less than one month later, Fragdown ran into the same situation and was short a player. And Amatic said that the rules were changed. So it was not going to be a forfeit for his team, but yet it was for Team Outlaws. He also changed the rules on allowing the auto shotgun as well eventually, without telling half the people involved at first. There also seemed to be some other roster related issues that Amatic had caused at several different times with other teams later on. Another situation happened in Season 1 with Team Effect having a quote, infraction, during the middle of a match versus Fragdown. You know... With Amatic running the site in the league, that shit was all rigged from the very beginning. Any person in any type of league that they are in charge of should never be allowed to participate in a match for that league. To me, when you were doing shit like that and saying changes were made a month later when nobody else was aware of it, some people would call that cheating. When you are changing the rules and making exceptions for the team that you are on, and not for other teams involved, that's bullshit. Just like his teammates Arshot and Alpha using a mouse and keyboard on console, just so they could have an advantage over everyone else, so their team could win more. That's complete BS on their part. And those guys were nothing but cheaters because of that. Another thing about Amatic, he only cares about leaderboards too. And to me, if you don't play for fun, you're not playing for the right reasons. I mean, it's CSGO on console for fuck's sake. Nobody else takes this game as serious as him on Xbox. The guy has been playing this game since it came out in 2012. By now, he has played over 130,000 rounds. But I hate to break it to him, if we all played the same amount of rounds, there would be dozens of people ahead of him on that MVP leaderboard. Probably even a couple hundred people. And when it comes to playing in the same public match as him, honestly, it's a fucking joke. You talk about lagging from here to Texas because he only plays on his shitty French host that only puts out about 10 megabits per second because he's based off of some AT&T bullshit internet provider, okay? Every time he has to play on his host or team stack. He also has to have his friends team kill other players as well. I've seen it happen to other players many times. And I seriously don't think I've played in a single match with him where I have not been team killed by him or one of his buddies in the lobby. I have only played one entire complete match with him from start to finish because of that. And I still got team killed in that game by another friend of his and knifed in the back a few times during the course of that match. Amatic is one of the most inconsistent players on the entire game, too. He couldn't even get 10 kills in that one game that we both played in from start to finish. Plus, he's just a camper. It's kind of ridiculous to see somebody be afraid of a 1v2 situation over and over again. 
And I always joke around with my buddy whenever we play on train together, like, oh, who am I with the op? Because a medic always camps in T-spawn, head glitching behind a truck with an op, just waiting for somebody to push through Ivy. And he refuses to move from that spot for half the round when he's opping on that side. Amatic, he is the biggest joke in the history of Counter-Strike, along with his team. Calling himself a pro-console CSGO player on a fucking version of a game that is simply made for people that are just trying to have fun because they don't have a PC meant for gaming. That's all this game is supposed to be about on Xbox. It's an arcade game that's been updated maybe once in almost 10 years. It clearly is not meant for quote-unquote professional matches, which by the way, he only offered $100 one time in the first season for the one team that got first place. And when you divide that up between the people that you are playing with, you will have about $20, which in all honesty is not even enough paper to wipe your own ass with. And sorry, stats don't matter on Xbox CSGO either. I hate to break it to you, I really do. Even then, his stats are fucking garbage for a player that's played over 130,000 rounds by now. Let me get to the next part of this conversation. There's a well-known player on here called Unstable. He believes that Amatic uses a mouse and keyboard on Xbox along with his teammates. The backstory with Unstable Unstable is a OG CSGO player on here who uses a controller. He plays on both PC and Xbox still. I consider him to be a great player on here. But long story short, a manic and Arshot tried to recruit him at one point for Team Fragdown. Arshot came out and said to him, and I'm quoting this, If you want to join us and be a starter, you have to switch to a mouse and keyboard to up your skill level and to make yourself a better player. End quote. And let me just say, Unstable is one of the very few players on here that I respect. He is also highly against mouse and keyboard on console, by the way. He's one of those people that might hate that shit more than me, and that's saying something. He considers mouse and keyboard the ultimate bitch move on console, and it is. So... He didn't want to have anything to do with them after that. Obviously, with everything that I've said here, I have zero respect for Armatic, his team, or his gameplay. The guy is nothing but a loser both in game and in life, and half the community knows that. As far as the other half, I don't give a shit about his little virgin fanboys. Let me make this crystal clear. I could not care less if this video brings any hate, I could not possibly care less about what a bunch of virgins have to say about this, especially if they are buddies with a worthless player like him who is afraid of a 1v2 situation on Xbox Counter-Strike, but yet he thinks he's a professional console Counter-Strike player in his own league that he made for himself. That's beyond pathetic if you ask me. Anyway, I'm done talking about a trash player. Having fun is the only thing that should matter on an outdated arcade game like this, and certain people just don't get that. What can I say? It sucks to suck, and the truth hurts more than anything else. I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching the video, guys.